How's it going, everybody? Dotodoy here, back with another Dragon Ball Fighters video for you all today. And this one is going to be special because we have a very exciting, albeit small, update on the future DLC for Season 3 of DBFZ. That update is, of course, related to the last two unknown characters of the DLC pass, both of which we have not received 100% confirmation of who those characters even are, or, as of yet, when those characters will be coming to the game, until today, that is. So, if you aren't aware, the playoffs for the Dragon Ball Nationals are currently taking place right now and will take place over the course of multiple days for each different region. The way it's working is that today I believe was the Spain event which is also the event we got this news at and then we'll have multiple different events at other times but they are all basically the finale for those certain regions so US West has a playoffs day, US East has a playoffs day etc etc. Today though like I said earlier was the Spain event and in which Hiroki appeared just to make a quick announcement with a statement that basically says the following which is we know everyone is waiting for more information about the fighters past three remaining characters and and we will make an announcement during Japan's playoffs, which will be held on December 20th. Of course, quick side note here, Japan's playoffs are indeed the final playoffs uh, scheduled for the entire event. So even though, again, each event is kind of its own little finale, Japan's is the last finale, making it kind of like the World Tour Finals uh, that we just couldn't have this year due to the state of the world with the pandemic and everything like that. And after that, Hiroki also went on to say, and for the release, we plan to do it for the new year. So around January, please wait a little more. So there it is. It was a very brief announcement. And of course, I know a lot of people will say it was announcing an announcement. I'm going to give them a pass though because this was not a scheduled thing. Nobody expected this to happen, at least as far as I'm aware. She just appeared. Let us know that news was coming. You can let me know down below in the comments, but I don't think this is anything to get too upset about because it's basically just saying, yeah, make sure you're watching that day because some hype stuff is going to be happening. And even if you miss it, don't worry. Here's when we're trying to release those said characters. So I think this was a very good overall message and I'm really happy they're doing something like this. Now, of course, that we got the confirmed up update out of the way, it's time to talk about what this stuff could mean in the grand scheme of things. So, of course, earlier I said that neither of the characters were 100% confirmed, but I am 99.9% .9 sure that Omega Shenron will be one of the two characters with what we knew way earlier in the season, as well as that possible tease from Bandai Latin America, although I do have to stress they did later confirm on that video again, much like they did with Roshi, that they did not intend to tease anything. Even without that, though, I do strongly think it's still going to be Omega Shenron, which brings me to my next point that this character is getting revealed at the end of what would have been the Dragon Ball Fighters Season 3 World Tour Finale. That is a really big stage. And in the past, it's really only been used for announcing the next season of the game. So those are the kind of announcements that sell new season passes. Think of announcements like Videl and Jiren, UI Goku, Kefla. That's the kind of level of announcements that I think they want to replicate here. But I don't think any single character reveal is going to be enough to do that. In fact, that's why I want to bring up the idea that I keep bringing up in the past videos and stuff like that pretty much every time we talk about dlc is that they might do a double reveal and maybe even a double character drop much like they did in season one or early season two with videl and jiren that would be a chance to do something really exciting for the end of the season stuff like that and it would also give them a chance to get both of these characters out before the game's third anniversary late january around the 26th i believe that's when the game came out not exactly sure on that but it's somewhere in late january and i truly do believe they do want all the characters out by then this would also give them a chance to announce if they're going to do a fourth season of DLC for Dragon Ball Fighters, which I really hope is the case, but we don't know that yet. And with the way we still have so many empty characters for this season, it's still not looking like that's a huge likely possibility, but if they reveal two, then I wouldn't put it past them. But that's also another piece of info I think we all want our hands on. We all want to know if there's more in store for Dragon Ball Fighters, whether it be balance patches, more characters, stages, etc., etc. All of that stuff would be super exciting to hear about, but we got to get rid of these season three characters first. Get rid of sounds negative <laughs> but i just mean we gotta get we gotta get our hands on him i guess is a better way to say it so if i think it's omega shenron then what other character could it possibly be hype enough to match that level of hype well to be honest much like i discussed with lotus in our recent discussion video it could very well be super saiyan 4 gogeta people have wanted a super saiyan 4 for a very long time and gogeta is a great way to do it considering we already have super saiyan 4 goku as a cinematic super for goku gt the japanese dragon ball fighters twitter account also very recently teased this special special Super Saiyan Gogeta's in-game lobby avatar. And while that really doesn't mean too much on its own, just with the timing and correlation and the fact that I already think it's Omega Shenron, that could also be another sign pointing toward that. Now, of course, that is not guaranteed and these two characters do not have to be necessarily related. In fact, if the last character is a huge fan favorite, that might just be well enough on its own, but I do think that's a likely scenario that would be very exciting to a lot of people. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comments on all of this. What characters are you hoping to see? What two characters are you hoping are revealed 
And do you think they are going to do a double reveal or even a double drop at some point? And do you think there's going to be a season four of Fighters? There is so many possibilities here that I hope you guys are as excited for me as December 20th because no matter what they reveal, it is going to clear up a lot and it is going to be good to see some new DLC come into the game. It feels like it's been such a long time, dude. I'm super excited. But other than that, while you're down below in the comments, if you're excited, make sure to the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date and see what those two DLC characters are. And don't worry, I'm sure we'll be live streaming that event as well if you want to come hang out on Twitch. Other than that, you can check out some other videos that should be on your screen right now. I've been Dr. Doya. Thanks again for watching this one all the way to the end, and I will see you in the next one.